watching another plan with me video um this one begins again with a failure this time a failure in peach and mint um i just thought it was beginning to get too busy so i restarted i'm using inserts from aussie planner chick these are just her dot grid in gray um because I don't have any pre-printed inserts just yet for my Kiki K. Uh, because it requires something smaller um, than what I had been using in my Malden, which was the Recollections inserts. Um, I have some Aussie Planner Chick ones that begin in October, but until then, I'm kind of forced to DIY it. Which isn't bad, it gets the creative juices flowing, but it's also just another little hassle <laughs> so here i am applying some washi um this is just a gray that i bought in i think a cool toned collection from michael's and i'm using a charlie card that i got um a couple years ago when i went with my husband to visit his family in boston i'm just using that to cut the washi after seeing so many people use that technique on YouTube, I decided to give it a shot, and man, does it work. I feel like an idiot all that time I spent using my little embroidery scissors. But here is probably my favorite neutral washi of the moment, which is this gold polka dot. And I got that from the Target Dollar Spot. Um, I don't think it's still available. If it was, I purchase more but I think it was just for the summer now this washi is not from the Target dollar spot it's from an Etsy seller uh, called washi you doing um, and it's just owls um, kind of gray brownish toned owls on this deep dark blue um, and it has little stars of gold and it really reminded me of a lot of color schemes that were popular in the 90s. Being a 90s kid and remembering those fondly, I decided that that was going to guide my spread this week. And I do really like it, at least where the washi's concerned. But you'll see once it comes to decorating that I kind of, hmm, went a little off track, let's say. So here I thought I needed to bring or incorporate more of that gold into the gray. Um, so I just cut down strips of this striped um, gold washi that I purchased from the Target Dollar Spot as well. This one I don't like so much only because it's so geometric that any little miss um manufacturing any little issue like creases and folds um become really apparent not so apparent when you're cutting these thin strips but if i were to use this running in the gutter of the spread you would notice that it was slightly askew or something like that because it it did have those issues in manufacturing i think the quality just wasn't there but that's okay, because I will make do. Um, here I just ran it into the last dot of the stock grid and try to make it uniform throughout by doing that. I really liked it. It doesn't really match the Kiki K like I wanted my first spread to, like that peach and mint concoction I had going on earlier, but that's okay. Interlude music. So here I am recutting with that Charlie card. Um, and now I felt like something was missing at the bottom. So I decided to use these washi strips I got from Michaels. Um, 
the gold isn't the same as the more muted gold found in all the other washies, but I still think it just does its job bringing the whole look together. So I don't regret it. Plus, the washi strips are such awkward sizes, I didn't know when I was going to use it again either. Um, so through the magic of YouTube, here is the second um, page completed. And right away I jump in with a mistake. I like a Monday start now that this semester with work and school, I do have just a regular Monday through Friday sort of schedule. Um, Monday through Friday I go to school or I work and I have the weekends off. But I didn't take into account that I wanted that note section that I had gotten used to in my recollections inserts. So I had to bust out the sticker paper and just redo these dates. Or I'm sorry, these uh, days of the week. So yes, you will see that corrected shortly. Okay, so I have spared you from watching me monotonously cut all these individual days of the week down. Just know that it took quite some time because I am a unique blend of very anal as well as very sloppy. You don't think those two would be paired up, but they are in the case of me and it usually leads to my frustrated downfall. But now it's time for the fun stuff, which is decorating. And here I am using um, just a little weekly tracker to uh, mark down when I walk my dog, um, or just to give me something to mark off so I feel like more accomplished, I suppose. And this will also conveniently hide the first Monday that I incorrectly wrote. So yay! Much better. And these Eevee Evolution stickers from Fox and Cactus are so adorable. And since my dog's name is Eevee, I try to use something Eevee related in every spread. And this pen is really nice. I'll list the information below. I think it's a Uniball um, that I just got from uh, bulk stock at Michael's, but it's slightly raised, so it gives it a more uh, quality appearance than just a, a white um, milky gel pen would. And I'm going in with my favorite little date covers which are just these tiny um, squares. Now as you will astutely um, pick up on, the blues that I'm using for the decorations, for the stickers, um, they are not the same blue as what's found in that gorgeous outwashy at the top. And this is why I didn't like this spread in the end because all of the decorations I had, all the little um, stickers were this very simple royal blue when I needed something more complex and darker that I just didn't have. So it takes what could have been a great spread and makes it, mm, it it's okay, you know, it, it's an okay spread. Um, Monday I didn't have a lot going on really. It was Labor Day. I had the day off. Um, I did have to run a couple of errands though, um, because I normally record my plan with me's on Sunday, but I was thwarted this Sunday when the mount for my tripod broke. Um, and this was just the second time in two months, so I figured it was... I had had enough. I was no longer going to purchase crappy cell phone tripod mounts from Amazon and I was going to 
go to Best Buy and get something more quality. And it worked. I'm using this, um, let's see, OtterBox setup, I think, with a tripod and a case. And it's really working out well. Then I had to return a Joanne's order. Um, and that... I purchased impulsively about two weeks ago, and I thought I was going to stamp more in my spreads, but I'm not that kind of planner, unfortunately, and I don't have that kind of time. Um, so it all went back, all ten items. And on Tuesday, I just had work, um, and also pokey hunting, I think. Tuesday nights traditionally are when my husband and I um, go out super late at night, drive around, um, and try looking for rare and unusual Pokemon. Because we're adults, damn it. I mean, darn it. <laughs> so here I'm just repurposing um, some of those pet flags um, that I purchased off alums on Etsy, I believe. I really like the flags, and I use them for quite a bit more than just pet-related things. Also, I wrote returned shoes, but I had done that already, I think, last Friday. Because I do purchase a lot of stuff online, but I also return just as much, nearly. And that's kind of... The downside of social anxiety, well, beyond, you know, not being comfortable around people, is the fact that little things like shopping or trying on shoes or something like that seem like insurmountable tasks, and that kind of forces me to do all my shopping online, which usually creates more logistical problems when the item doesn't fit or it comes damaged or something like that. So maybe I should just get over it. <laughs> and I'm using my Coletto pen again in its deep, dark blue-black ink. And I really like it. I don't like the blue color of the pen case itself, but that was my fault. For some reason I thought blue was the color I should have. Which is weird because although this spread points otherwise, I don't like blue. It's not one of my favorite colors. Um, but that's my issue. Now here I'm making another checklist um, because Thursday I had work again and I also had to return a Kate Spade planner of all things. Uh, I bought it during her, um, the store's most recent sale, where um, a bunch of accessories and purses and junk were 50% off. Um, and it was the Micah's Pond um, zip-up planner. Um, the first one I received, unfortunately, the binder clips were just so horribly misaligned that all the paper was like catching whenever I would try to turn it. Um, and then the second one that they graciously sent, like, one-day delivery, uh, that one had a cosmetic flaw on the front cover. And even 50% off, those planners aren't cheap, so I had to return it, ultimately. Um, they sent me an email saying that, unfortunately, they wouldn't be able to exchange it because it seemed like those quality control issues were indicative of all of their stock. So, boo, I'm sad, but at least they were very kind, and hopefully one day I will purchase another. And here I am just laying down a uh, fox and cactus, bunch of Pokemon stickers, uh, and this is where my video cut out, unfortunately, but uh, the first one is a Snorlax Lazy Day, uh, then a little Pokeball, um... And then non-Pokemon, but this uh, significant otter sticker, which is just too adorable. 
um, because Wednesday my husband and I usually have the day off together and we try to do something a little out of the ordinary and we decided to go to the beach that Wednesday to catch, yes, even more rare Pokemon. Um, and then I just had some typewriters that I added in to remind myself to write. And I'm making another checklist, this one specifically for my plan with me videos. Just to remind myself that Saturday is usually the day that I should get all my editing done. And I did. I just didn't post because I didn't have time to do this voiceover part. Um, I did paint my nails though, so go accomplishment. Um, now I'm just adding my husband's schedule with these bunny stickers. I told him I usually use bunnies or cats. He prefers when I use cats, apparently. But the bunnies just went with the spread more. And I really like these clear stickers. Um, they're from Midori, and I bought them at, through Jet Pens, which is oh, just the most amazing sight in the whole wide world. Especially if you live stationary, or pens, or just paper products in general. It is easy to go in there buying one specific item and coming out of it like eighty dollars uh, poor because uh, it's just amazing. It's where I got the Cleto, where I got some washi, where I got more stickers. <laughs> I need to stay away from that site. See, so yeah, just filling in his schedule. And I think this is where I realized, oh crap, I forgot to put that gold washi at the bottom of the first page. So I'm just going in again and attempting to do that. I have a feeling I'll use these washi sets a lot more come October when I get inspired to do all my Halloween spreads. Because for me, Halloween lasts from... October 1st through the day after Thanksgiving because I just love that time of the year so much. Thanksgiving not so much, but I tried this time. I've already purchased a bunch of fall sort of themed items um, that you'll see in the coming weeks, no doubt. And here's where I kind of misjudged... Um, the trim of that washi and I cut it off too short. I didn't realize I extended it all the way on that second spread. So it looks just a slightly choppy, but that's okay. And I think I just had another um, comment to make probably on Friday, which was just to finish my spreads because Friday and Saturday was spent kind of moving into that Kiki K planner and since all of my inserts and um, dashboards and stuff for my Malden were significantly larger, I had to change things up a lot. And I'm just adding the last sticker to my notes section, which has been this um, retro TV, which is a printable that I got off of Etsy. Um, and it's just to mark down like the stuff I've been binge watching since that's generally what I do while I plan. And it's been, I think that week it was Bob's Burgers, the get down, and I uh, started watching the West Wing, which I regret not having done when it initially came out. Then again, I was also mm, in middle school, I think, when it originally started, so... Yeah, I guess that was my fault, but my husband and I have been uh, re-examining it, and man, that that first season cliffhanger really, I think, solidified the idea that this is the show we're binge-watching now. So, yeah, give that a look. Um, 
so here we are. I'm just adding it to my sad, barren, unpersonalized uh, planner because Friday and Saturday had yet to occur at that point. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out okay. Once again, not wholly satisfied, but thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye.